Hey guys, and welcome to another brand new video. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, good morning. And hopefully you guys are all ready for a fantastic, lovely day when it comes to the PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X restocks. We actually have quite actually finally some little bit more news going on, especially when it comes to big retailers too as well. So we actually have some pretty big news we coming up throughout the next three or four drops. I do want to do a really quick notion, just in the rare case that Target might be having some restock going on as of now. We are hearing a little bit of rumors, and if it does not restock today, which is totally okay if it does not, we'll give you guys more updates as well throughout the next few days. I mean, sure to go cover a lot of Best Buy and Amazon news though as well. So we'll let you guys know. I'm going to apply this still upload it around the usual seven o'clock time zone or so, give or take. So it may or may not be still in stock, but we're hearing a little bit of rumors on it. We did make a mention how there's a little bit of stock on there. So be on the lookout for it. If it did have any random drop or whatever, if we just go and skip ahead of the video itself, just want to make sure I meant that notion too as well. We'll talk about it later on throughout the video. We'll also cover up the other retailers too as well. And like I said, let me give some more into up details later on throughout today. So make sure you guys are subscribed with the notifications on as well for the brand new PlayStation 5 giveaway. Amazon links down below for the PS5 disc digital console controller. Twitter and Twitch stream as well down below. Check on the Samsung SSDs and Samsung phones down below too as well. Sign up for Weeble. Deposit one. I always get a bunch of free stock and free money. Same with that cryptocurrency as well or the Coinbase too. Let's go down in the video itself. So a lot of things to go cover. So far today, we actually, well, I'll maybe let's go do a quick little talk, I'd say, up on Best Buy first and foremost. We did go make a video, in case you want to see a little bit more of an in-depth response or talk on it, but we did go and see that Best Buy is actually now allowing and or slash the app slash kind of letting people go get it, some actual stock for it. So basically, if you guys go check the app itself, like the Best Buy app, if you guys want to go check, say, a PS5, Xbox, GPU or whatever, pretty much whatever, you have a chance to go and see if there's any stock available in your local like 30 to 40 mile radius or so. Want snack sneeze? <laughs> There you guys go. The show must go on. Sorry. <laughs> it's all the cold here in Chicago with all the snow. So basically, if you guys want to go check the app itself, we have been seeing stock arrivals for it. We're seeing some stock kind of basically sitting in the like base of the warehouse section slash like filler section of the Best Buy stores. So if you guys want to go check the app itself and put in the SKU unit, you guys can either go and call the local store if there is stock available that pops on up. Like I said, maybe creep on the video that we mentioned uh, yesterday. And you can have a chance to see if the store has like a GPU, Switch, PlayStation, etc. Not every store will have it, but it is actually been a place that some folks have been getting their consoles. So it's very nice to see. We're seeing people getting their stock. It's just, it's all raw, a good vibe. So keep on checking that if you guys want to. We did see even a few folks get it as of yesterday when I made the video. We also had reports of other folks on Reddit also confirming that this was actually a format that did go and work. So it is nice to go and see. We are seeing people getting their consoles. We're seeing stock arrivals, etc., etc. So uh, go check it on out for the PlayStation. It is sporadic, kind of the same thing for all the walk-ins we always go cover and all the other various news we always go and cover, but we are seeing at least a few folks getting and receiving that stock. So always very, very nice to go and see. We love seeing people get their consoles, you know, it's always nice to see. So be on the lookout for that. And as well, obviously the Best Buy restock. We have also been seeing some rumors that some Xbox Series Xs have been showing up in store. Same with the PlayStation 5s as well. So it's nothing super crazy or something you have to be like one zillion percent on top of. But when it does come to stock, I think the likelihood throughout these next two days bumps up a lot more when it comes to Best Buy. So be on the lookout from the 9 a.m. to 5 a.m. time for PS5, Xboxes, especially Xboxes, though, for sure. It'll probably be a big, I think, focus all throughout today, so we'll be keeping watching for that. Next, we'll be up on Amazon. So as I also made a video on for yesterday to kind of fine-tune it, Amazon PlayStation 5s have restocked in other locations. We have been seeing stock over in, like, uh, Mexico, in Europe, the UK, I believe also Canada, and a few other regions. And that usually does bump up the likelihood because pretty much every single other like random Amazon location has and gotten more stock so far. So I'm just letting you guys all know, but that is bump up the likelihood of a restock throughout these next few days. But I do not want to go and sell you guys on empty promises. We have not seen major leaks or major stock arrivals or anything of the sort as well. But I'm just letting you guys all know we have been seeing stock. We've been watching stock and it kind of seems a little bit likely. If I do get any more notions, I'll let you guys know. And I'll give you guys a video for it if we do see stock or stock arrivals. Although once again, it kind of just depends on the overall vibe for it. But... As we've mentioned, we have been seeing Amazon seeing uh, pretty much every other region go and restock, which does kind of bump up the likelihood for a normal restock a lot. Like, it really is a lot of extra stock. So it's nice to see, like, seeing stock arrivals, seeing stock movement. It's all around just a kind of nice, good vibe. So we'll keep you guys in the loop for it. Keep on checking probably today from, like, 10 a.m. to around the 2 p.m. range or so. No one knows exactly when it's going to drop, how it's going to drop, how much stock's going to happen, or when it's going to happen. So then you guys know I always do have the links down below in case you guys want to go check on it and go and see Next, we'll be on the GameStop. We still have not seen GameStop do like an official tweet or email or anything of the sort, but 
We have seen GameStop change the commission list, and they have not done a restock this week. We've had a little bit of a quieter week, I'd say, all throughout this week in general. We have not seen a major restock in like about like like over a week or so. So let you guys know we are going to be watching for GameStop. If they do anything, there's been no like pro tweets or any rumors beforehand. If they do, it's going to be 11 a.m. EST, 10 a.m. Central, 9 a.m. A mountain and then 8 a.m. Pacific. So I'm just letting you guys all know that's kind of our rough time we'll be watching either for PS5, PS5 Digital, or Xbox bundles. We haven't seen more rumors on the walk ins as of yet. Just keeping you guys on the loop for all that stuff. So this is kind of cool. At least we're watching, at least we're seeing it. So good stuff with that. As well, also, as I mentioned for Target, really quick in passing, we have been hearing some rumors of a Target drop this week. I have not seen too, too much more other information, but I'll let you guys know if time does like happen, any employee information or whatever. I'll maybe try to give you guys a better update throughout today. If we do sending stock numbers or stock updates or whatever, we'll one zillion percent let you guys go and know. There was that small chance if it did, for whatever reason, don't mind me. The target drops have been a little bit more on the sketchy and weirder side. Sometimes it's leftover stock, sometimes it's movement stock. And we'll let you guys know if there's any more stock movement going on from it. So if there was a drop, don't mind me. Leave a comment down below. Let me keep me in the roop. And if anything, we'll maybe be on the lookout tomorrow, maybe. So if we see more information, I'll let you guys know. It's kind of like up in the air. So I'll let you guys know for that, at least when it comes to Target. And as well, when it comes to all the various stuff, Walmart still has not done a restock. We have not seen a Walmart update. We have not seen Walmart change anything. We have not seen Walmart update like their website at all. So we have seen them do a lot of Thursday restocks, which is why I'm kind of highlighting it again. Thursdays at like 2 p.m. EST or at the 10 or 11 range. So let's be on the lookout later on throughout today. If there is any stuff, I'll try to work in another quick video or at least send out a tweet for you guys and let you guys go and know, or at least we have a chance to react to it. But at least we do know there is a good potential when it comes to Walmart. So at least there's like good potentials all throughout the day. We didn't really have too much good potentials on the rest of the week besides that GameStop that we do keep on mentioning and talking about. So we'll kind of keep you guys in the loop if we see anything else or see any more stock or see any more movement for it. As well, throughout this week, we still have seen a lot of these also mid-tier retailers also not really do anything else we haven't seen anton line do a proper normal restock haven't seen anything else good for gpus or switches xboxes so definitely watch them all throughout today for their bundles and if not probably tomorrow we'll be expecting a drop as well same thing too as well for gamefly we didn't see any uh, we actually saw an xbox this week so at least a ps5 has a chance new egg we did go make a video kind of discussing the fact that Newegg is a little bit on the sketchier side, a little bit more on the scarier side. So if we do have a chance that could creep on Newegg at all, be a little bit careful if they do have any bundles for their day-to-day -day Newegg shuffle. It's always a little sketchy, a little bit scary. Uh, BJ's for walk-ins. We have still been seeing loads of folks, and we'll probably even cover it a little bit more throughout this weekend, but we have been seeing loads of folks getting their PlayStation 5 bundles from the BJ stores. It really depends on the area, depends on the stock, depends on the numbers, depends on your like location, depends if they're sold out, and all that good stuff. But keep on checking or calling for their local tech center or area and see if there's any stock available for the BJ's PS5 bundles. As well, same thing too when it comes to that for the uh, also Target. Always keep on checking for the Target walk-ins. We do keep on seeing as it's like kind of like day-to-day -day at this point. I'll, I'm just going to keep on mentioning until see people get it. It's always a reminder. It's always kind of just a nice little quick passing. But Target for the Xbox Series X's and their bundles. Be always on the lookout for them. Call your local store, get some local stock, go and see if they have any stock arrivals, all that good stuff, and go from there. As well, we've still been watching for like the Lenovo's, the Microsoft stores, and all of that. We have not seen a PlayStation Direct email at all, so we're not going to be spending one unless it does go public. Currently today, Microsoft has in a lot of Thursday stuff too as well, though. And also on top of that too, Sam's Club. We have been seeing Sam's Club in general, kind of going and talking in their late night drops in general. So be on the lookout for Thursdays, especially if there is no Walmart restock at all. Mainly because they're very overdue, both the PlayStation 5 bundles and Xbox Series X bundles. Especially if there's no Walmart stuff, it kind of bumps up the likelihood, although there's like no big qualifier that happens before or after for it. Same with Costco for the early mornings. We have not seen a Costco drop. We have also been seeing Kroger's doing some online and also walk-ins too as well as we've been kind of covering. Same with the Meyer stores. We'll probably talk a little bit more of that on the weekend side. Definitely more updates and stock arrivals and employee stuff, etc. But when it comes to Meyer's, keep on a lookout for that in the Midwest for the PS5 disc and digital. Although there might be some pretty big shipping delays and movement delays going on, mainly because the whole world's pretty much covered up in snow, especially here in Chicago. And of course, always if you guys are active military members, go and check their local 
local stock, check your local stores and all that good stuff. We have been seeing stock arrivals for them, as always, for the walk-ins. Of course, there's always little various locations like the Andromas, etc. So be on the lookout for that, Verizon's, all that good stuff. But overall, I'll be able to try to get a little bit more information on the big boy retailers and go from there. So make sure you guys are subscribed with the notifications on. As well, for the brand new PlayStation 5 giveaway, we do have the Samsung SSDs down below on sale. Highly recommend. Same with the phones, too, as well. Twitter and Twitch streams down below if you guys want to follow. Sign up for that Weeble. Sign up for that Coinbase. And I appreciate you guys all so much for watching. And I'll see you guys up to later on throughout today for a bunch more videos. Love you guys.